the project that I, I always have in mind when we speak about tiles and iconic projects, it's a Pavilhão de Portugal in Expo that was built for the World Exhibition of uh, 1998, 1998, correct? And where um, Arquitet Cisa developed in a huge scale a special color to match the, um, the color of the, um, the water mirror in front. Was in front. And that's, we are still using it, we are still selling it. And what is amazing about this specific color is that the idea is to have all of the, 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 um, the tiles to be completely different one from the other, although with the same color. Because there are reflex, the, 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 the reflex in the water do this to the, to the water surface. So the idea was to replicate this to the tiles. Tiles have been part of my life and part of my and of Portuguese heritage also. I remember the, my, my, my summer house when I was a kid and um, it was amazing spending time in the, um, in the kitchen and looking to all the different uh, 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 small details of all the a bit naive uh, 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 paintings, but uh, it was amazing, it was all of the same, but at the same time, all of them slightly different, because they were hand-painted. So just years later, almost 40 years later, when we, we bought this, this, this beautiful company, Viva Amigo, I realized that the small differences are part of the process, because they are not, this is not an industrial process, all of them they are hand-painted. So that's why uh, there are slightly nuances between them and that's what makes them really unique and, and, and beautiful. There are always small nuances, small differences that in the, the big scale makes them, um, gives a, a mural or gives a project a special vibration, as almost like a texture. Um, when you compare to a, a boring, uh, a plain, uh, industrial tile surface. We started working with artists and architects probably 100 years ago. Okay? And that's what makes this company unique. And it's probably because of being challenged by the most modern artists of each generation that we are still here when most of the traditional factories closed. At Viu Valamego, we have a very um, good R&D uh, um, department. And what we like to do the most is to adapt old techniques to modern projects. What does this mean? For example, we've just uh, delivered a um, really crazy project uh, from probably the best well-known Portuguese uh, artists of our generation now, which is uh, Joana Vasconcelos. And it's a uh, full-functioning swimming pool for a sculpture park in Scotland, in Edinburgh. And uh, it's um, a swimming pool with 11,400 hand-painted tiles. What have we done? We have adapted the traditional Portuguese uh, techniques of hand-painting tiles to, uh, um, to the harsh climate conditions of Edinburgh. So all the tiles are um, frost-resistant, so we have adapted the hand painting techniques to a frost resistant bisque okay. and some of them there is a the, there's a, the, the, the swimming pool and then there is a, a nice terrace it's like a splash it's a drop of water that dropped in, 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 in the floor and did a splash the splash it's a terrace okay and it needs to be anti slippery so we are able to adapt the um, specificities of each project 
to our traditional techniques. And that's what is really challenging and at the same time quite unique and amazing to do. We work with uh, clay, we work with earth, right? And it's terracotta, which in, in, in Latin and in, in Italian means uh, um, a fired earth. So we work with a very sustainable material okay, that's being used for a thousand years, probably. Okay? The tiles have this advantage to protect the, um, the buildings from the climate right? and to make it cool during the, um, the, the hot summer Lisbon, Lisbon summers. Some years now, the, um, the tiles were out of fashion and probably specifically in Portugal uh, because of the, um, of the work of architect Cesar Vieira he was bold enough uh, 20 years ago to start doing facades in tiles. Cesar is, 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 is really someone uh, yes a vision towards the Portuguese materials, absolutely. And he uses without any complex um, in his projects. Um, and, and, and this started probably a trend, and we are seeing more and more younger architects um, using traditional Portuguese materials in the, in the in architectural. Um, stone, wood, and tiles. Tiles are being used both on small and large-scale projects. On small projects, it can give you the feeling of a small jewel, for example. A small building, all covered in a very uh, special color, uh, shiny, can just look like a, 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 a priceless uh, jewel, which is lovely. Um, in bigger scale, you can play with patterns and, um, and create movement, for example, and uh, integrate the, um, a huge building and make it almost uh, invisible. We feel that we are um, creating the conditions to pass this heritage to the next gener generation. So this is exactly what we are doing, is to um, hiring new people, so the fantastic artists that we have working here for 30 years, most of them, they can pass the, 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 their, their know-how and these unique uh, techniques and traditions to the next generation of artisans, so they can, um, they can sustain and they can uh, keep this heritage and uh, bring it forward to the, to the future generation. If you want a, a, a holistic approach to the, to the, to the world and to the, and to the living, okay, I think it's very important to play with our hands. More and more, our fingers just touch electronic devices. So what I would suggest for one year would be to work with, with materials. So, for example, here we could uh, uh, provide some, some people to, to, to go and uh, to come and work with, with clay to shape and create, to learn a lot about um, color, for example, to, to see how we do and how we, we use the pigments Lots of, our, of the colors that we use come from pigments that are made of um, earth material, uh, rock, stone, uh, um, clay itself also. They could reconnect with, 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 with the environment and uh, understand that uh, that's where we came from and uh, we need to preserve it.